we've got cats. Cats being cats. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, you're beautiful. Yes, you are. And you're really cute. Yes, you are. Hi, everybody. This is Payana, and welcome to my channel. And I've been ridiculously ill for the last few days, weeks, possibly. So I haven't had the strength to just write the video that I wanted to film. So I'm doing a haul video today because it's a while since I did one and I got quite a lot of books to show you. So haul video, that's what we're doing today. Yay. So first of all, something kind of exciting happened uh, quite recently because about a year ago, I filmed a video about the first book in the Oxford Pollock series. And I thought this was pretty hilarious because Oxford Pollock, like it had always been a point, like marketed to me as being the French Harry Potter and being as good as Harry Potter. And when I read the first book, I thought it was pretty hilarious in how bad it was. Like, it's nowhere near as good as Harry Potter. Nothing in it makes sense. It's just a weird succession of events that end badly. And then the characters make the worst possible decisions. And I, I honestly, I, I mean, I thought it was terrible, but I, th I thoroughly enjoyed it because of how hilarious I thought these characters were and the terrible decisions that they made were and how their world just did not make any sense. So I really wanted to uh, read the second book and make a video about that. But then I moved house and both books got lost in the process. And I thought maybe they'd, I'd got rid of them in an anti-haul, only I... Recently, I about a year later, I found them. Uh, I didn't, what I'd done is I'd put them away from my other books. I put all my books in a pile in my dad's house. And I I was more, like I was cleverer than for my own, I was too clever for my own sake. I, I put them to one side, you know, so I could find them easily and then just forgot I'd done this. And then, um, Something else happened. I went into a charity shop with my daughter and found book three and book four. And oh my God, like just the covers are, are just hilarious. Like I know I don't normally talk about the covers, but and this one in particular, I don't know what's going on with these people's faces, but so yeah, pretty hilarious covers. I'm looking forward to giving Oxypollock another spin just to see what weird and crazy stuff happens next because honestly if if the, the the other novels are anything like book one then we're gonna have some fun i have finally got uh the second trilogy in the uh dragon riders of pern series by anne mccaffrey i've been waiting months for these obviously with the virus going on uh all my orders have been messed up uh i think i've got everything i ordered now but uh yeah it's been a bit weird <laughs> so but yeah I, I finally got these i'm really happy i can get stuck into them and also um i bought ignite me and un what is it unravel me these are the sequels to shatter me by tahir marfi now i read this and I wasn't quite sure what to think of it, honestly, because it started off pretty well. Um, I kind of enjoyed the beginning. This is a YA novel, so obviously I wasn't expecting anything um, too grandiose, but it gets really weird towards the end. Like, she ends up in a kind of Professor Xavier's mutant institute kind of place. And so I, I haven't tackled this one yet on this channel because I want to see what happens next. Because I, I don't know, I wasn't quite sure what to make of this one. So I'll, I think I'll read at least two more and then we'll, we shall see. Okay, so I've been having a lot of conversations with people following the video I made about The Witcher, about The Last Wish by Andrzej Sapkowski. I really didn't like that novel. I thought it was 
I mean, it wasn't really a novel, it was more like a um, collection of short stories. But I really didn't understand it. I didn't know what the author was trying to get across, like what points he was trying to make or anything. It was just really, really weird. I really didn't enjoy the experience. But I've been having so many conversations with people in real life and also on the internet who keep telling me, try reading Blood of Elves. Try reading The Blood of Elves. It's the first actual novel in the series. And uh, just, just read that before you kind of make your opinion of it um so I, i've got the blood of elves i decided to read it in french because one of the like some of the issues i had with um the last wish i did wonder if that if they were because of the translating i did wonder that so uh i've read the english version so I've decided to read the French version and see, because the French usually are better at translating. Um, so I don't know, I will see. I will read this. I've seen a few videos from my kind of YouTube friends group that didn't think this was very good either. But again, a lot of them were like, maybe it's the translating. So I'll give this a go and no promises but if i don't like it i am definitively done with this series so the blood of elves by andrei sapkowski we shall see uh, about that shadow and flame by mindy arnett this is the sequel to onyx and ivory um it's not quite as pretty as the first book it's quite a lovely book but not quite as nice so Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I really would like to find out what happens next because I really did like um, Onyx and Ivory. I liked the way it ended, so I am looking forward to reading this because it, it, re it really does go to a place that I really wasn't expecting. Uh, at the end of book one, everyone gets exiled and they, they go to a different land. So yeah, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to find out how this pans out. Um, I also bought... The Waterfire Saga, the first book in the Waterfire Saga by Jennifer Donnelly. Uh, this is called Deep Blue. And I've already started reading it. You can see it's already got quite a lot of tabs in it because um, a while back, probably two years ago now, I made a video about um, A Mermaid in Paris by Matthias Malzia. I don't know if that book's available in English yet. Um, it probably will be at some point because Matthias Malzia tends to get translated and this book was made into a movie so um, I'm hope probably will but I thought it honestly it is the worst novel I have ever read it felt like reading a feeble attempt at a first draft that's how bad it was and that's why this has so many tabs in it because uh, this basically does what A Mermaid in Paris should have done, be it by explaining the magic system, by, um, you know, just introducing the characters in a good way, and this is uh, also a YA novel uh, about mermaids. <laughs> so I've read uh, about, how, how many pages? I've read about 60 pages and already this is way better uh, than, than A Mermaid in Paris, so um, I'll try and finish this one by the end of the week. Metro 2033 by Dmitry Glukowski. Uh, I really should read this. Like, honestly, it's been knocking around in my wish list for so long now. I was like, I really should buy it. Uh, this is just a classic uh, futuristic dystopian novel. It's set in a Moscow metro after there has been a nuclear war. So now the people are living in like underground in the metros and how they sort out their lives there's even a map of the uh, like moscow metro i really want to um i really i'm really excited about this really want to read it i've been wanting to reading it for ages and it is it is time it is time that we do that now the famished road by ben oakry also one that's been on my wish list forever and I've never read a Ben Oakry novel, and again, I think that's wrong. So, Ben Oakry, this is um, a fantasy, sort of, sort of traditional African slash fantasy novel about a spirit child who comes and lives in the real world. So, 
So uh, Ben Oak is a Nigerian author in, or in origin, and this I think uh, mixes in like Nigerian legends and myths with like a kind of fantasy novel. So we shall see. Um, I also got The Waking Fire by Anthony Ryan. Apparently it's really good. I haven't read it yet. Uh, but yeah, I, 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 I'm I, just obsessed with dragons at the moment. I'm obsessed with dragons. And this seemed like a pretty good one to go for. And speaking of dragons, I got uh, A Natural History of Dragons by Marie Brennan. This is the first novel in the Memoirs of Lady Trent series. Lady Trent, who... A young woman who decided to run away and become a naturalist, a dragon naturalist, and document dragons. And this is her memoir. And I'm very, very looking forward to reading this. Very, very looking forward to that. Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. I'm not entirely sure what this is about. It's about a violinist a prodigy violinist who gets i think kidnapped and taken into another world by someone i don't know it this had some good reviews it's got a review by sarah j mass on it i'm not a huge fan of sarah j mass but again we shall see we shall see uh, I also got The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern because I felt I just had to, like, I felt this was my kind of book because, you know, anything, anything like this, yeah, well, th also this has some brilliant reviews, so I'm hopeful. And finally, I got Who Fears Death by Nnedi Okorafor. I'm so sorry if I'm not saying that right. Uh, I thought this interesting because uh, I read somewhere that uh, this is a um, post-apocalyptic Africa uh, novel set in Africa, which I thought was interesting because, like, <laughs> it, it's I remember reading somewhere that African authors didn't usually write dystopian novels and like post-apocalyptic novels because they kind of live in a dystopian and post-apocalyptic world, like all. This is like true for all third world countries. I hate that term, but that's that's the term that's in vigor. This has won a shit ton of awards, and honestly, it does look absolutely brilliant. So I'm very very looking forward to this one as well. I really need to get my reading schedule back in some kind of form because I've just started doing a course. And it's an hour away from where I live, so I have to get up at 6am and drive there and start at 8 o'clock and then I finish at like 5 or 6 o'clock in the uh, afternoon, evening, and then have to drive an hour home. So reading hasn't really been like my first, you know, pre hasn't really been on my mind lately plus I've been really really ill I wanted to read uh this weekend but I was just so ill that I couldn't and I haven't written anything for any videos so this is it this is my video for this week um the other novel I bought which I didn't show you in this video is Hell of Death by Vince Kramer this is this is the one I wanted to do today uh but uh, I'm not even it's not even really long I've been at it for a whole week and I'm not even halfway through it's just ridiculous so hopefully uh, next week this is gonna be this is gonna be the book you're gonna be hearing about um so yeah that's what that's what we're doing so far this is what I'm doing I'm just sitting at home uh being really sick and being really tired because i'm doing a course but otherwise <laughs> my life is a lot better and it's yeah and everything's been going actually pretty well lately i've had some mental health issues that have cleared up uh only then my physical health has deteriorated so yeah if it's not one it's the other but yeah so far um it's been it's been okay it's, you know everything's looking up and on that note thank you for watching my video i will be back hopefully next week 
and I'll see you all then. And don't hesitate to like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.